Hi guys, it's Mick and Andrew from Tots Coaching. Over the next four to five weeks, we're going to put some short videos together, probably one a week, so that the children can do some kind of activity at home, either with their sibling or with their parent. The first game is a very simple but enjoyable warm-up game. As you can see, Anthony stood on the start line, ready to go. In front of me are different coloured cones. If you haven't got any cones, just try and use uh, different toys. What I want the parents to do is shout out a coloured cone or a toy. The child comes out, picks the toy up, take it, takes it back to the starting position and then does some form of exercise. Goes out, picks another object up, comes back and does a different form of exercise. You can either do these exercises on the video, or if you can think of some good ones of yourselves, do those. Our next game is traffic lights, and for this, your parent will need uh, three different colours. We're using red, green and yellow. As you can see, Anthony is moving around the small space. When I hold out a red cone, uh, Anthony stops the ball using his foot. When I produce a green cone, he has to start moving around the small area dribbling with the ball try and get your child to change direction while they are dribbling with the ball uh, they might not always be able to see the colors so shout them out as well the next game is another game of traffic lights but we've introduced a yellow cone when the adult produces the yellow cone or the yellow color anthony will perform toe taps as done in the video This time when playing traffic lights, once the yellow cone or yellow colour is produced, Anthony is performing window wipers instead of toe taps. On this clip you can see myself doing the figure of eight dribbling challenge, albeit very poorly. I'm sure your kids out there can do it much better than I did it. Here we have Anthony doing the figure of eight dribbling challenge with a slight difference. As he's going along, the parent will call out either left or right. The child has to stop the ball using their foot, run over to the left side or the right side, touch the floor, come back and complete the figure of eight. Make sure you get the child to go to both sides. <laughs> Here we have me and Anthony playing the game called Ouch. The child will start off with the ball, dribbling around the small area. When the whistle's blown or the adult shouts stop, the adult has to stand still in a space. The child has to dribble over, get within two or three paces, stop the ball and try and kick the ball against the parent's legs and make them say ouch. Once they've done that, the process starts all over again. <laughs> In this next clip, you can see that the roles have been reversed and it's my turn now to try and kick the ball against Anthony's legs and make him say, ouch. Remember parents, don't kick the ball too hard. <laughs> <laughs> 